So solar power in particular, what's been the movement on the technology front from that side of things? Because, I mean, solar power has been around for, what, since the 70s, right? Or oh, before for, that, yeah. yeah. So are, are we, is there going to be a moment for solar where it reaches, there's always this like grid parity idea, mm-hmm. like, is that ever going to happen? Or is it just, you know, is it just slowly inching up and getting better and better, smaller and smaller? Well, it's getting cheaper and cheaper. Um, to produce these things um, on a levelized energy cost analysis, uh, solar and wind are actually cheaper because the amount of money that costs to build it, um, you get a certain amount of power that comes from that. And so when you, it's, again, it's called a levelized cost. So it, solar and wind will always come ahead. Um, but the problem is it's still more expensive up front. You know, if you want to build a big solar park, wind park, that those prices are coming down rapidly. So from a utility scale perspective, you're going to continue to see more wind farms, more solar farms. Uh, I, uh, being pragmatic about this, it makes more sense to have distributed solar, solar in people's homes, on their roofs, on warehouses, buildings. But the utility companies don't yeah. make money that way, so it's never going to happen. So the idea that we should pursue that is great in theory, but in reality, it's never going to happen. Um, in terms of t- solar technology, it hasn't really, it hasn't come much further since, let's say, 10 years ago, except for the um, the production of, of the cells and the panels, which has come down, like I said, quite, quite a bit. Um, moving forward, there's some really fascinating um, solar cell technologies that are more durable than we had previously. And these are the ones that right. we're going to start seeing on cars. You know, yeah. they'll be integrated in, into into vehicles, um, which is a huge deal because we've seen some companies now um, that are developing cars that have the solar cells integrated into the body of the vehicle that are going to give you another 40 or 50 miles of charge just by sitting outside all day. Yeah, that's a big deal because 